。好，第廿八、廿九条呢，又系问返演化树啦，又系问亲缘关系。今次呢，就问晒六个界啦。咁啊，當中啦又有一個共同祖先啦，咁啊有啲分支分支分支，咁啊有 G H I J f u n g e r 同埋個 K 嘅，咁其實題目呢都係考返我哋利用親緣關係呢去分辨返唔同嘅生物嘅，所以題目就問返啦，喺個演化樹上面嘅呢三類型嘅生物 G J K 呢，究竟佢係屬於邊一個界別啦？咁啊，先用返呢幅圖去解説啦。由共同祖先散出嚟嘅呢，一邊係 U bacteria， 一邊就 a r c h a e o bacteria。我哋先睇咗 a r c h a e o bacteria， 亦即係古細菌。古細菌呢，當初呢啲科學家都認為佢哋係細菌嚟嘅，但係啦，經過一啲生物化學嘅鑑證，亦即係比較下佢哋個 DNA 嘅 base 嘅 sequence 啊，又或者比較下一個蛋白質佢哋嘅 amino acid 嘅 sequence 呢。咁我哋發現呢，其實佢同細菌呢都係好唔同嘅。佢哋同真核生物嘅關係咧，係近過同細菌嘅關係嘅。咁所以你會發現啦，真菌佢咪就係其中一款嘅真核生物咯，係咪？所以啦 ，G 同埋 K 邊個近分隔一啲咧？就係、是、G， 所以 G 咧就係古細菌。咁所以答案咧鎖定咗係 A 同埋 B 啦。同一時間咧，我哋發現阿 K 咧，佢真係同樓上嘅 G H I J 同埋分隔咧，相距甚遠啊。所以咧，我哋都確認到佢係真細菌啦。咁究竟 J 佢會係啲咩嘢咧？咁佢同個真菌呢就好近關係嘅，究竟佢係動物定係植物呢？其實好多同學呢都認為啦，真菌呢同埋植物呢好相近。呢度啦又清一清個 concept 咯喎。除咗個親緣關係之外，我哋啦都可以去分辨下，究竟喺真菌啊、動物啊同埋植物界啊呢三類型嘅生物呢，究竟有冇咩嘅特性？佢哋係相類同或者係相不同嘅？咁當初真菌同埋植物呢，佢哋係歸於同一個界別嘅。之後呢，生物學家就發現啦，唔係喎，佢哋兩個呢都好唔同㗎喎。例如啦，真菌係唔識得做光合作用，但係植物係識嘅。又或者真菌同埋植物嘅細胞壁呢，佢哋嘅組成部分又唔同㗎喎。同埋啦，真菌同埋植物呢，雖然話都有嗰啲蘇蘇啊，但係真菌嗰啲係菌絲，植物呢嗰啲先係根嚟嘅。所以生物學家呢，就將真菌呢，就獨立於個植物個樹，咁所以啦，真菌會唔會係同植物近呢？其實就同植物唔近嘅，佢同邊個近啲呢？就同動物近一啲。其中一個關係呢，就係、是、真菌同埋動物都係異養生物，所以答案呢，就係 A 啦。好，跟住啦就去到 H 同埋 I 啦，究竟邊個係植物？邊個係一個原生生物呢 p r o t e s t e r 呢？雖然喺呢幅演化樹呢，我哋若嚟都見到嗰啲節位嘅，有邊啲生物呢？係早期一啲演化出嚟，有邊啲生物呢？係遲啲演化出嚟。但係到 H 同埋 I 之間呢，你係講唔出究竟邊個係演化得早一啲出嚟嘅，所以呢，你係分唔到邊個 H 邊個 I 嘅。如果你要將 p r o t e s t e r 擺喺個演化樹嘅話呢佢應該擺喺呢一個位置，因為佢係處於三界之外，佢既不是動物界，亦不是植物界，亦不是真菌界，但係原生生物係能夠展現到三種嘅形態，佢可以好似動物嘅存在，又可以好似植物嘅存在，又可以好似真菌嘅存在。所以佢要擺嘅話，應該擺藍色嘅呢一個位，就唔係擺 H 或者 I 嘅是但一個位。所以呢幅圖呢，其實都唔係出得咁好嘅。去到最後尾啦，又講下 NOS 啦。咁啊，對於成個分類學呢，我哋會發現啦，原來呢科學知識呢係暫時性嘅。係隨時可以轉變嘅，而呢個轉變呢，係建基於一啲科技上面嘅發展。咁啊，如果當初我哋係冇呢啲生物化學嘅分析嘅話呢我哋係好難做得出嗰個 DNA base 嘅 sequence 嘅比較，或者個 protein amino acid sequence 嘅比較，從而去建構我哋嘅親緣關係學嘅。Question 28 and 29 refer to the evolutionary tree demonstrating the phylogenetic relationship of the six kingdoms. In this question, we are going to do the matching of the kingdoms represented by The G J K in the evolutionary tree. In this question, is checking the concept that we need to identify organism by using the phylogenetic relationship. First of all, we need to take a look at this diagram to show the modern classification system, and take a look at the archaeobacteria and eubacteria. For the archaeobacteria. They were once considered bacteria. However, according to the biochemical analysts, for example, we are comparing the base sequence in the DNA and the amino acid sequence in the protein, and we find that the archaeobacteria are very different from the bacteria. They are most closely to the eukaryotes than the bacteria. So we can see from the evolutionary tree, fungi is here, and fungi is a type of eukaryote. So we can see that. 
G and K, which one is closely related to fungi? We can see that the answer is G. So that's why G could be the archaeobacteria. And then we find that the evolution node of K is far away from the fungi. So that's why K is the eubacteria. And the answer will be A or B. So let's take a look at J. What should it be? Should it be animalia of plantae closely related to the fungi? So in this question, we need to recall some more analyze. For the critical concept, apart from the phylogenetic relationship, we try to relate other similarity or differences among fungi, animalia, and the plantae. For example, being heterotroph or autotroph. At the same time, we need to recall the fungi and plantae they were in the same kingdom before. However, the biologists suggest separating fungi from the plant kingdom because they are very different from the plant. For example, fungi, they do not carry out photosynthesis, but the plant do. Although fungi and the plant, they have the root-like structure, but the fungi, it should be the right sort. But for the plant, they are the root, so it's different structures. And the cell wall composition of fungi is different from that of the plant. Therefore, fungi was separated from the plantae kingdom. Therefore, animalia, they are closer related to the fungi. And one of the similarity is they are both heterotroph. And I would like to talk about H and I. Which one is the plantae? Which one is the potesta? Unfortunately, this diagram cannot tell. Although it can show you the evolution not to show that the sequence of evolution who comes earlier and who comes later. However, if we really put Potesta in this evolutionary tree, they should be placed here. Because Potesta, it is out of the three kingdoms, including Animalia Kingdom, Plantae Kingdom, and the Fungi. But it shows a very similar form of life to them. They can be animal-like, they can be plant-like, and they can be fungi-like. So it should be the common ancestor of plant, animal, and fungi. And one more thing I would like to remind is the NOS. The development of the classification system demonstrates science knowledge is tentative and subject to change, and science is affected by the technology and the type of equipment available at the time. If we do not have the biochemical analysis, like comparing the base sequence or the amino acid sequence in protein, we cannot construct the phylogenetics concept.